Hello, it's the IT guys here, and today we're going to be looking at drop down lists in OpenOffice Calc. The same method is true for LibreOffice, it should also be exactly the same. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a drop down list for a set of items which people can choose from in our shop. We'll have a drop down list for the quantity, which I want to be between 1 and 10. I'm also going to have a drop down list if pupils have paid to go on their school trip. So, the first list I'm going to create is items. So, I've made a list of items here, which my shop is selling, and I'm going to copy that list. You can just type it in, but I'll show you when in a second, but I recommend you write them out first, it's much easier. So, now go and click data at the top, with our cell selected where we want to insert the list. I'm then going to come down to click validity. Under criteria, I'm going to click on list. I'm going to sort entries ascending. So basically everything is in alphabetical order, which makes things easier to find. I'm now going to paste in our list. This is where you can choose to add or type extra items in. So if I wanted to add an extra item, I can't think what, so say a mouse, then I can add that in here. But I'm not going to. So I'm now going to go over to the error alert message. And if someone tries to type something in the cell, which isn't in our list, I can just stop them from adding in. I'm going to say invalid data and the error message will say choose an item from the list. So it's sort of giving a handy hint. And I'll show you what this does now. So then, once you've done all this, you're going to click OK. So now, where I've got item, we'll see, when I click on the cell, we have this little arrow. When you click on it, we now have our list of items. So I can choose to have a laptop. If I was a stupid person and decided that somebody really wanted to buy some stupidly weird name thing, and I click enter, it's going to come up with my error message. So it's going to say invalid data. Choose an item from the list. I click OK, and it'll get rid of their silly entry. We can then pick something from our drop down list. This is a way of making sure data is entered into the spreadsheet correctly. What I'm doing now, if you look at this red box, is I'm clicking at this black box here and dragging down our drop down list. So now we also have a drop down list in the row underneath. So now let's create our quantity drop down list. It looks exactly the same. I've got my list of numbers from 1 to 10. I'm going to copy them, go back to sheet 1. And this time, I'm going to highlight both cells at the same time. I'm going to click Data, Validity, Criteria, List. And exactly the same as before, I'm going to put in our data there. I'm just going to stop them. I'm just going to say Invalid Data again. You can choose whatever you want to write there in your error message, but I'm going to say Invalid Data. And then pick a, um, a correct quantity, maybe. So this is designed to be a message that helps the person putting in the data to put something in that's correct. And I'm going to click OK. So now I've got a drop down list in both of these cells in the same time. Which says you have to drag it down. And I can put in numbers from 1 to 10. Now if I try putting in 0, it will give me an error message. Because 0 is not in my list. Also if I try putting in 100, it will give me an error message. Or if I try putting in letters, it will would give me an error message if I typed it in the cell. It will still give me an error message. So, finally, paid. This one you could have done using Boolean. It's just going to be a yes or a no. But I'm just doing it as a drop down list just to demonstrate. So, again, data, validity, criteria, list, sort ascending, yes or no, stop, invalid data. Error message can just be pick yes or no and click OK. And now, yes, Bob Jones has paid to go upon his trip. So that's all you need to know for writing and creating drop down lists. They're very simple but can save you a lot of time in OpenOffice Calc. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, share it with your friends, and check out our other tutorials on OpenOffice Calc and other software. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.